everybody, it's Kristen and it is time for another Throwback Thursday. It's been a really long time since I've made time to do one of these videos and I don't know why, I just decided I was going to go ahead and do it this month. So if you are not, have not seen one of my Throwback Thursdays before, this is a video where I go back and I generally go back two years, take a look at what my favorites were that month, revisit those and see if I still like them or not and then I come back and tell you guys about it. So I have my list before me here all printed out and ready to go and let's just go through it. I do have a playlist by the way if you're interested in looking at some of my other ones I will link that below as well. So the first thing on there was the It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. It Cosmetics has the great products but the longest names of life. So that I loved a lot and I would absolutely repurchase that. I kind of had have had other you know primers come in and out of my collection since then. I don't have anything that I've ever found to be a dupe for that. I do have other ones that I like a little bit better and are a little bit more reasonably priced. So like the Bioderma AR I just showed this whoops in a haul not that long ago and went back to using it and I just love this especially when it's drier um, in the winter here it's so much drier uh, this is it's actually it says anti redness care and it says moisturizes and soothes but it also let me see if it says it's still yeah it says on here makes an excellent makeup base so when I got one of these for the first time I didn't even know until I read the back and I was like oh I'll try that and I really really like it so if you've not tried this go ahead and give that a shot you can get it here in the states um, through Beautylish Okay, so that is the first thing. The second thing I have on here, and I am wearing as many of these today as I possibly could. I try to do that whenever I do these videos. Uh, the Dior Skin, no, the Dior Star Skin Foundation. And I still love this. This is one of my top foundations. You can see, however, that I have to use two shades. Back then, I think there weren't as many shades available. So I have to mix 20 and 10 to get my perfect shade. I tried today first. I was just going to use 10 to see, which I'll actually talk about something about me and my skin and darkness and that sort of thing here in a second but and the 10 was just a little bit too light so um what i realized about this is that i've had this i've had these for two years now and i've used other ones since then i, I picked them to put them i use it up i never picked these because i like them so much but these are two years old so as soon as i finish the l'oreal pro glow pro glow i think these are going to go in as my next use it up because i love them and they were not cheap and they need to get used before they go bad so it's one of the reasons I like doing these videos. It kind of brings things, you know, brings things forward in your head that you need to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyway, the next thing is the Laura Mercier Mineral Pressed Powder in Natural Beige. So I do like this. I am not wearing this today. And I will tell you why. I have learned over the years, I use Natural Beige, beige in the Loose Minerals. And I do love this product. But I was just wearing stuff that was far too dark for me. I don't know, I think probably because Lisa Lisa D1 used natural beige and that was, and Lisa SEO9 as well. And when I bought that product and was using it, I think it was before I even started making videos. And that's how long I've been using the, the loose minerals. And I just bought that shade. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's definitely too dark for me. So I found a friend at work who loves that. And so I gave it to her and I'm going to give this one to her as well. But I do like this. I feel like you get the same... I think in the video I actually said you get the exact same glow. I don't know about it being the exact same glow with, that you get with the Loose Minerals, but darn close and it's nice to have in your purse for touch-ups and it's a little bit easier for travel. So there's that. Uh, the next thing is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And I was using that not only for under my eyes, but also to kind of help clean up my contour. And I do, I really like that product a lot. I shattered mine, it was in my Use It Up and I had used up probably more than two-thirds of it. At some point it got shattered and I didn't repurchase it just because I have so many other products that I'm using for well, under my eyes or other things. I will say the one thing that I was using it for back then was to kind of help clean up after you've done your contour just kind of make it seamless. I don't have a product that I love for that currently it, so it kind of it kind of gave me pause to possibly repurchase it but I think I'm going to hold off for now. All right, the next thing was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I still love this. I still use this, particularly when I travel. This has a powder that, that has dim light in it, which I can use dim light as sort of my setting powder, add a little coverage, add a little, add a little glow. This bronzer does add a little bit of bronze, but not too much, and this is a beautiful highlight. So I grab this a lot. This doesn't look like I've used it, but I'm trying to show you. You can't really see that there's a dip in, in the... A dim light for sure and a little bit in the bronze not as much in this because you don't use as much of that but this is great for travel absolutely 
still a favorite. Uh, the next thing I had was the Benefit Rocketeur. This is still a favorite. I, I wonder how many favorites I have shown this in because I go back to this over and over and over again. This is just, I think I described it way back then as it's like adult sheen or adult. It just, it adds a little pretty little sheen without being like in your face glitter or highlighty or anything like that. Just stunning. Really, really pretty. Perfect all year round. I had done back then like a favorite fall favorites and had forgotten to put this and the next one in there. And so I want, I felt the need to mention it in those favorites. The other one was the Benefit Dallas. And I did um, gift that to somebody. I like Benefit Dallas. It is really nice for kind of deepening up your contour sort of, but still having it be that sort of mauve shade. Um, I just wasn't wasn't using it in one of my cleanouts. It went it went to somebody else. The next product was the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in I called it Moonlight in the video, and I even had it listed as Moonlight, but it is in Moonstone, and this also has been in a ton of favorites. I should have swatched that. I'll swatch the Benefit Rocket Two for you. This is a really heavy swatch of this. I do have it a little bit on my cheeks, but I was hanging out with my church cuties today, and. They're crawling all over me as, as usual, so I think I've lost some of that. But it is just such a pretty highlight. One of my favorite highlights in all of my collection. Let me see if I can get you. It's always hard to swatch this because it's down in the down in the box, but there's a there's a good swatch. Really, really pretty. It's like a rose with a little bit of bronze to it. Very just a really good blush. The next thing, and I've used this a bunch in its lifetime in my collection. This was just had recently come out. I'm going to take the brush out so that it doesn't pull over. And this is the Pure Soul Mates palette. I always had a hard time saying it. I think I did a Four Looks One palette on this. I love this so much I bought it. I bought one for Emily and sent it off to her. This is a great palette. This is still available and it's still, if you like those rosy shades, Oh, so, so, so pretty. So today I have this on my eyes. I have a different, uh, for a base color, I have the NYX shade in Girl Talk. Yeah, I just want to make sure. The NYX Prisma in Girl Talk. That's what I have on my lid. But the rest of the shades are from this. And this is just so easy to work with. Nice little travel. The brush that comes in it is actually a good functional brush. I really like this. There, there are a few pure products I really, really enjoy. This is just one of them. And um, the next thing was the Bare Minerals, the Magic Act palette. And I sold that recently when I did a little bit little bit of a palette sale on my Snapchat. And I did really like that. It's just a, at least three or four of the shades I had in duos or um, like tree or quads from, from Bare Minerals. So I thought, you know, when I was doing some cleaning, I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, you know, sell that. And I just cleaned up my back, or not cleaned up, but I actually have a relatively Christmassy background. Feeling pretty accomplished right now. Actually, I actually think there's one other video I have filmed that you're going to see after this with the old way. But anyway, <laughs> I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm having a little lighting struggle because the sun was coming in and out and in and out. So I just closed my shade completely. Uh, the next thing was some red lipsticks. I was really into kind of the reddish, leaning towards blood red or blood rose. I think it was blood rose. And I have three lipsticks that are all very, very similar. The one that I'm wearing today, and I do still love this. And None of these, I was smelling them earlier, none of them have gone bad. This is Nars Olivia. Raise your hand if you remember when I would not stop talking about Nars Olivia. And that's what I have on today. I just I really do like this. With that, not today, I grabbed a different, one of the other ones I grabbed today, but with that I was using this um, Lanakai, I think is how you say it, the Velvet Lip Liner from MAC, from, no, not from MAC, from Nars. Lanakai, that is a good lip liner with that. Just perfect, you guys, perfect. If you're looking for a nice red for holiday, really, really pretty. Um, and then I had the Le Métier Débuté in, let me see if I can remember, Mataquette. And there's that. <laughs> Just laughing because they were all so similar. I bought them all in, in a short amount of time. The Kevin Aquan, Kevin Aqua, Kevin a whatever, lipstick in Blood Roses. Yes, two roses, blood roses, just right there. And this I know, this was limited edition, but it's still available. Now it is permanent, I should say. And I'll give you a close-up of these again. And then the Makeup Forever lip liner that goes really well with that is in 12, no, 11, something, 11C. And that is right there. So they are all very similar. One of these would suffice. You don't need all of them. But I'm telling you, I'm impressed with all the fact that two years later, they all still are nice and creamy and go on. Really, I, I tested them all this week. And it has been so long. I'm trying to get this off of my hand now. It has been so long since I wore, Nar wore Nars Olivia. And I just 
fallen in love with it all over again. I don't know that it necessarily went with the eye that I did today, but I wanted to wear it for the video and whew, it just made me smile when I put it back on. All right, the next thing I had was a fragrance and this is, this is a tried and true fragrance. I still love this. This is my second bottle of it. This is the Tom Ford Santel Blush. That's how much I've used of my second bottle. The first bottle I would say probably lasted me a year and a half, maybe a little bit more. But I, I, I kind of feel like I have two, uh, what are they called, Sign signature scents at this point. I have a spring summer one and then I have a fall winter. This is my fall winter. And then the Hermes Vetiver Tonka is my spring summer. I just love both of those. If I had to pick two, yeah, those would probably be it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Don't make me pick two because the I love some of the Aaron ones in the spring and summer as well. Anyway, the next one was a random, and I still have these, and I pulled them out to show you. Now I've had these for two years, so let's understand that, okay? So <laughs> these are the they were called the Melody Booty by Me Too, and I wore these all the time I I showed them all the time on the on my vlog channel when we were when you know when I was vlogging and doing outfits of the day and that sort of thing and I still have these and I just want to show you how well they've held up so they're both of them have this sort of little issue right here which doesn't really bother me too much and but the heel has held up well I did have yeah these are the ones I had this little thing replaced here by a cobbler in town um, but other than that They've just held up so well. The zipper still functions on both of them very well. These are so comfortable. I just love these. So I pulled them out again. And you can see, even though I have ha I sprayed these in Wisconsin because of the ice and snow, you have to spray your boots sometimes. I've talked about that before, and people are like, what do you mean spray? Well, you kind of have to do that. Um, it works pretty well. You can kind of see it's a little bit worn here. But for the most part, these have held up so well. And I'll show you the other one. And they are not available anymore. But my point in showing you these is that the brand, Me Too, I'm really impressed with. You can see how well, you know, it hasn't worn down here. The leather is still really intact. So I was really, really impressed with those. There were a couple other things on here that I had, like um, a, the a jacket that I had from Lane Bryant that was a full leather and wool jacket. Still love that. Just worked the other day. It's a great, great jacket. And lastly, I had on there Charming Charlie. I still buy stuff from Charming Charlie. The friend that I was visiting when I learned about Charming Charlie, I think I was down visiting my friend Steven, and they don't, he doesn't live in that area anymore, so I've not been to one in quite some time, but I look online and I still order pieces from them regularly. I wish we had one closer, but we do not. Maybe someday. <laughs> so those are my favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I think I've told you everything that is on my face, because they were all on my favorites, or they were all on these favorites. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I hope you're having a great day, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!